If you want to build generative AI applications in Google Cloud, then you must enable Generative Language API or Gemini API. Gemini API makes it very easy to build and run generative AI applications by using plethora of Google services. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write a simple Python program by using this Gemini API and specifically the semantic retriever in Gemini API with Llama index. Llama index is another framework to build Gen AI applications. And if you are following my channel, you might know that I have been covering Llama index with various other services. And now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily use that Llama index even with Gemini API. The first step you need to do in order to use this Gemini API is to log into your Google Cloud Platform account, then go to APIs and in API search for Generative Language API and then click on Enable. Also, this API is not available in every region, but still you should be able to use it in this uh, region where you have logged in. So let me click on Enable here. So now my Gemini API is enabled. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use semantic retriever or Google semantic retriever in this video. Before I delve into the further implementation, let me give you a very quick overview of what, what exactly this semantic retriever is. LLMs, as we know, that they can learn new abilities without even directly being trained on them. But what happens is that LLMs often hallucinate about the questions which are out of their corpora or set of data. So if you train an LLM on a training data set and then after some time you ask something else from that LLM about a recent event or occurrence, then LLM might not be able to provide you a correct answer because LLM only knows about the training data set which it has been trained on. So in that case, we use a technique called as RAG or retrieval augmented generation. This RAG techniques, it augments the prompt sent to an LLM with relevant data retrieved from an external knowledge base through some sort of mechanism. Now that external source could be your own databases, document, or even your other APIs or applications. So this is what uh, this knowledge base or RAG is. Now, Google uses semantic retriever in order to retrieve the information from the external source. And that is what we are going to see when we will be using this semantic retriever with Llama index. Now, Llama index integrates nicely with this semantic retriever and Gemini API to enable us to build a full blown Gen AI application on Google Cloud by using this Gemini API. I know these are a lot of words and uh, services and sound a bit complicated, but trust me, it's not. Now, we have prepared the ground of all the theoretical knowledge. Now let's see all of this in action. So this is the code which you can use to use semantic retriever with Gemini API with Llama index. But before we do that, you need to have few prerequisites. Make sure that you have created a service account in Google Cloud and you have the credentials in the JSON format stored on your local folder in your system so that you would be able to authenticate with Google Cloud. If you don't know how to do it, I have another video on my channel which shows it or you can search for Google documentation. It's very easy to create a service account and download that JSON file. So once that's done, there are three prerequisites library you must install. First is Llama index. Make sure that you have latest version of Llama index installed. Let me show you my Llama index version. So you can see that I am running Llama index version 0.9. So make sure that you have at least 0.8. I would highly suggest that even if you have installed the Llama index, then upgrade it by simply doing pip install Llama index dash dash upgrade and it will bring your Llama index to the latest version. So this is one thing you need. Secondly, you need to have Google Generative AI uh, module installed. So also make sure that 
you have the latest one install if you don't have it simply install pip install google dash generate avi dash dash upgrade okay i think i just put an extra tilt sign at the end let me remove it oh, there you go i have point 3.2 point which is fine and similarly the last thing you need for authentication from google cloud is pip show google auth oauth lib and let me show you its version 2 that's it so make sure that you have these things installed let me clear my screen and let me quickly walk you through the code so first we are simply importing some of the functions until line number 8 which we need from google api from lava index so that we would authenticate and use these functions then we are specifying the credentials here from line number 11 to 18 and this is the service account thing which you need to download from line number 20th the real fun starts first we are creating a corpus corpus is simply collection of documents a document is collection of text which contains your actual data by using google index we are creating a corpus we are just giving it this name you can give it any name you like once it creates uh, gets created it will generate this corpus id which you can use and you can reuse this corpus id now i have placed all of my own documents on which i want to do that rag or semantic search in this data hint and directory and from that directory i am loading the whole data i have just put in one document in text format so it is creating um, this directory reader and then loading all the documents in this directory to this new index okay once that's done i'm just simply doing some sort of querying from that index that what was intense life regret this doesn't exist in it by the way and then i'm printing out the response now if i want to see in order to answer my question which paragraphs or passages were cited from that text i can print it out and we, i can also print out the answerability if model was able to get my answer it would say one and if it was not able to find the answer from my passage it, it will display zero so let me run this program i'll simply say pylama index because this is the name of my file because this test doesn't exist there so there shouldn't be any response and llm is disabled at the moment and you can see that newly created corpus id is this and we can reuse this corpus id and, and, and this is just i have even 